Now, welcome back to Blind Way, where we're doing Ruby number 12. Hey guys, crew Blind with I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. My intro is better. <laughs> <laughs> and we are watching the final episode of Volume 4 of Ruby. Fail. If you guys followed us along last time, we do have a running slap bet right now. There's a new creature of Grimm or something. Is it two creatures or one oh, creature? It's it's one. Oh, oh, oh shit! Did you see that? Oh, that doesn't Did prove you, you right. That? that doesn't prove you right. It's one. That is. That doesn't prove that you right. That is literally the proof I need. The beard one would be so much better. I think like, so. Because like if you if you bet your beard and then the other person gets to shave your beard yeah, no. in the shape that no. they want it to be. Don't get me wrong. I love Ruby, but that is not worth it. <laughs> that is. It happens. Maybe as, <laughs> maybe a Game of Thrones finale. Maybe <laughs> not Ruby. <laughs> Ma I mean maybe. maybe. <laughs> Whoa, you shit! Did it. That was cool. Ruby. Aaron, I'll start. Ooh. Ooh. It's, is it big? Oh, they're uh, fighting hold it already. On, hold on. Shit! Oh, the ring's so cool. He's the only one that didn't fall. Dude, it'd be so much scarier if it's all one giant weird beast. Wait. That's a horse. I don't see a thing on Wait, no. What the fuck is it? I think it's just a horse, Aaron. I don't know what's going on. No, there it is. Wait. It's all attached to one. Look. That's its arm. It's just dragging, and then it just sits up. That's one thing. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. What? It's right That's there. That's one thing. It's right there. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it's like where it's sitting and stuff. <laughs> it's not on, sitting, it's on, one on. piece. Look how scary that shit is. That is scary. I don't want to, my excitement of Calvin being slapped <laughs> ruin the scariness. Oh, oh God, it's like Piccolo. Oh. Fuck this thing. I haven't seen any fucking legs. It's don't all fuck that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Do something, Ren. Oh. Oh. Is he coming? They can't see him. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah, grenades. Dude, that's cool. He's not scared. You see, he's still Fine. poisoned. They, no one sucked it out. The unspoken protect Ruby, right? Yeah. Maybe. Or he just died and gave up holding him. Ugh. That thing is like, that's a new coward. <laughs> no, that's you. That's a grabber. Go in a circle. Go in a circle. circle. Yeah, that's one thing. No, we'll do it afterwards properly. Dead Just think about it. <laughs> It's like when you wait for your dad to get home after you've done something. Oh! Uh, you fucked oh, up! Fuck! Horses kill you so easy. He's okay though. He's got the aura. What the hell is what? that? That's a Pira. great sword. That's Pyrrha's bronze on the edge, right? Yeah. I can't uh, tell. Uh, oh. Well, that's cool. Oh, it pissed it off. It's a bigger sword. It's so fucking creepy. I'm gonna get you, children. Helicopter dicks. What? Honestly, it reminds Slap me. Of, for that. It reminds me of something from like Zelda. Yeah, I can see that. It's creepier. It just pulls its arms. Like... This is a good design, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, what in the world? It's transforming. What's it doing? It's calling. Something more grim? Oh. Room. Oh no, it got caught. What? Come on, come on. Attack it together. Cut it. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Chub. Ah. Boom. Booyah. Oh, 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 oh. Not Nora. Nora. 
fine. Or is it K? What happened? <sighs> She's a cat. Hey. Do something! Now what? He can't, what's he gonna do? Attack him, you other people. Stop looking! <laughs> okay. Ugh, man! Uh, dude, that's like Resident Evil shit right there. Yeah. Oh no. No. Her aura. Yes, get it, get it, guys. Attack it together. Yeah. Mm, that's the first time he didn't land on his feet. Yeah, but he just jumped back onto his he feet. Bounced from his back. Damn it! Damn it! He wants revenge for his parents. It might be bad. Oh no! Oh, his guns. guns. No, Dead his order's down too. Oh, so it's Ruby and Jean. What's your gun at? That looks like Tyrion right now. Mm. Huh. Just like before. Uh -oh. That's the, it's the knife that his father gave him. Gave him. <clears throat> Stuff like that. That's kind of cool. 
That's a scary ass grim. Yeah. I think I'd rather fight a dragon. <laughs> Giving them privacy. What? Crow. Oh, okay. He's, <laughs> he's gone. He's a dead crow there. Damn it. Like a little crow. What? If he can turn into a crow, I need to turn into a crow now, and they just carry him. That'd be so much easier. Because it'd go through his body quicker. Makes sense. Good job. Spaceships? Huh? No, they're. Whoa. What is this? They're overwater Whoa. blimps. Or they're. Whoa. They're dirigible things. That's cool. You're a dirigible. I don't recognize. Who's that? Who's that? The design. Who's that? And we're off to save Crow. Maybe they saw the smoke? Yeah, but who is it? I don't know. It's a scuba guy. The people from Scuba uh, Steve! <laughs> Mistral? How did you find us out here? We were on patrol and saw the smoke. No one's been out here for years. Thought something might be wrong. Awesome. What if we don't make it in time? Ruby. Oh, Ooh. it was over the mountain. Yep. Almost there. Shit. Wow. That place is it's like Riverdale. Beautiful. Riverdale. We made it up road. Rivendale. Yeah. Isn't that it's a show Archie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. Oh. Um, which one is this? I'm gonna make a Ren costume. What? What's, what's the school called again? Uh, Haven? Haven? Yeah. Right? Is it Mistral and Haven? What's that? What's that? What's that? Crow? It's Crow. Gandalf? <laughs> Have you seen yeah, that Frodo. one? Gandalf doesn't have any fucking teeth. <laughs> well, oh, there's a song. How small her scythe gets. I like how big it gets. Oh, is he gonna write her a note? Is she gonna write him a note? She's gonna write him a note. Get better. See you soon. Bye. Well, she has to leave him, right? Got out before the yeah thingy. It's scary not just. knowing what's going to happen next. And the things we do know now, uh. just how bad it can get. Almost makes it all worse. You told me once that the bad things. Yes, I like that. Fuck yeah. yeah. Cool. 
Oh no, they left him. He's with Dad. Brent's such a badass, isn't he? Mm -hmm. But if we gave up every time we lost, then we'd never be able to move forward. We'd never have a chance to see what beautiful things the future might have waiting for us. to be. What you think? Yeah. Can we never be there for other people who might one day be lost without us? Yeah, motorcycle time. She is going to kill Bill. Who's Bill? Haven. Yep. <coughs> Chameleon. And even more who will try to gain everything they can from their sorrow. Oh, hey. She got better control of it now. Believe me when I say. I Illusions? Dang, she has nice handwriting. I don't even know, it's too small. All right, now to continue writing. I miss you so much. I miss Weiss and Blake too. But I think you'd all be proud to know that I made it to Mr. O. All of us did. And we even ran into Uncle Crow along the way. He almost died. She's gonna go to the bandage, isn't she? That was the village. Yeah. You are in so much trouble when I find you. She went right. Until next time, your loving sister, Ruby Rose. I wonder if that's like Ruby's thing to try to keep people safe. It's like, don't go this way. Bandits that way. Oh, uh, yes. I'll be sure to give you the address of where we'll be staying at Mr. Old. I'd love to hear back from you and Dad, and I can't wait to fill you in on whatever's going to happen next. Let's see him. What's he look like? Now that we've made it's it a tea set. Animal, I really think things are going to start going our way. Two cups of tea. Why, well, thank you, Professor. Oh, no. Is it the big. F yeah. Always did say. 
quite hospitable. That's the bad guy. He's a bad guy. Crow. Drinking? That's what Crow does. The mom? Excuse me. Oh, Oscar. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. to tell you I'd like my cane back <laughs> Look at that it's good to see you again Oz <laughs> is it telescope yes oh. <gasps> He just accepts it? He knows. It was he part of the plan it. or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's not part it. of the plan, it's but he, all part he knows of the plan. what's he knows what's happening. I have a question. Do <laughs> no, we settle the slap bet air. now or at the end of the video? <laughs> Maybe the end of the video. Maybe people wait. Hey Calvin, wait. <laughs> yeah. So that was volume four. I still kind of feel the same as I did last week when it's like I don't think it was a bad volume. It was my favorite yet. I feel like it's ramping up to a lot now that we're gonna be at Haven. Like everyone was heading to Haven. Yeah. Yeah. Like Oscar's there now. Yang's following in. Oscar's I guess that's where Weiss too. is going, and Winner's that's already that, going yeah. that way. You know. Yeah. yeah. And then we got Lionheart, which I was saying that maybe the uh, the one guy was like the lion. Lionheart sounds like he should be a lion. And you have Ironwood, who's a Tin Man. You have Ospin, who was the who's the wizard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who? And you got Crow, who's the Scarecrow. Yeah. And you had the Good Witch, right? Yeah. Your, yeah. your girl. And and yeah. Ruby, is our protagonist, right? Ruby shoes. Red slippers. Ruby slippers. Ruby and there's slippers. a Toto. There is. The dog. The dog. Zwei. His name's not Toto. Hey. Toto I means like two two. Zwei, which is German for two. It wasn't two, Calvin. It was one. One. One giant, giant horse grim. monster. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't really, honestly, I didn't write a whole lot down. Uh, a lot I of this did. episode was fighting and Ruby writing a letter that Yang will probably never get because she's on her way already. Yep. But unless her dad unless she it. got it already. No. Yeah, that's why she left. No, I don't know. No way, no. Because Mike, she's writing all this and she's never gonna read it. Maybe she's, she did. She's already on the Wait, way. They, they mentioned a note. Was that the note that she left originally when she left? Maybe she sent her a note. Ranger? And she I got thought it. maybe we're not seeing it at the time it's happening. Maybe we're seeing that after. It well, happened. Ruby said, "Have you been? Like, if you haven't been getting my notes, then here's this." And she was talking. And then when Yang left, her dad's like, "Better than you leaving with just a note or something like that, right?" Something like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I liked it. I liked the, the final battle with the the grim thing that was introduced. Like, I want his name. Yeah, I don't his know. His name. Like, what do they call it? Like, all the ones have names, you know. Yeah. I or thought I it was. Have a name. I thought it was interesting, Kevin. Kevin. Well, the dragon. Kevin. Kevin. That's what the fans. Kevin name. the dragon, Calvin. I think it's official. All right, that's called know. Calvin the Horseman. Calvin? No. Calvin the Horseman. No. Go to Reddit. No. Calvin the Horseman. Look I'm not gonna name that, that grim. After a guy that's gotten gonna get slapped because of it. <laughs> I enjoyed the focus on uh, Ren and Nora in these last couple episodes, which I found was yeah, kind of surprising that they, like they took like the spotlight at the end. We of haven't gotten a lot of, of them throughout yeah, the series, no. so it's nice to get more of that because we, you know, the Ruby team we got a lot of. Yeah, yeah. And Jean, we got some of with Pira and whatnot too. Yeah, but yeah with they Pira. have been more background characters, you know. Ruby really took a background. Like I said with this final letter thing, she took like a background role this season. I felt like. A little bit. And we were able to focus on John and his, his grief with Pira, and then we a huge focus with Nora and Ren at the end, hmm. as opposed to being able to follow I don't know, you, her. You also a, have Ruby and Crow, which was a big focus on yeah, stuff, yeah. too. And then, I just think the last episode, and maybe last two episodes, had a bigger focus on like Ren and Nora yeah. lately. Yeah. Because I, like, I feel like the season went through like Ruby and John, and then Ruby and Crow, mm -hmm. and then to these guys. Yeah. Which was interesting. I liked seeing like I didn't know they grew up in the same town yeah. or whatever. And she yeah. Was a poor little I don't know homeless girl. I yeah. Know. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I kind of am wearing like that rose colored glasses in terms of the other volumes. But I'll try to think of like Weiss. What all does she do? She went home and then left home. Like did, she didn't really do much this volume. No. I mean you she know? ran away or got then someone back home. Away, and then think. Blake. She went home, and she's left home. She fought a big monster. Yeah. And she's finding out about the White Fang. Like and stuff. The, 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 the yeah. I get you. Weiss isn't just. 
I mean, she was trapped there, so she. No, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, she was also finding out. Stuff I'm about purposely it. oversimplifying it, but I'm talking about like you know Ruby and Team uh, Ranger. Like they had a very clear we have to get to, uh, you know, to push forward to get to Haven, right? Whereas it felt like Weiss, she went home. We learned about her family, then she left with with her whole like having to give up her family and trying to. Well, she's trying to get to Winter, right? Right. Yeah, well, I think she so. is now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're gonna do that, then our our team here just. They left Ruby's house and they went to Haven. Yeah, like I'm not like I'm not saying like this is a knock. I just felt like it, this is much quieter and less happened, but it was more dense than what did happen. I guess I should say, right? Like I felt like the, the last volume with the whole tournament and stuff. There's this craziness and then the Grim attack and and the I mean, dragon and all that stuff. I, I guess feel like the, this one really like had to breathe. I guess the comparison you make is last season was more actiony, while this one took more story elements. Yeah, there, yeah, which is what I would yeah. say. I, I still feel like a lot happened, and especially with like the way the characters have split, they need to explain why they split and now where their path is taking them, mm -hmm. which I think it did fine with that. Weiss maybe had the least that really occurred with her storyline. Sure. But like Blake, I thought, like, well, I'm going to go home while well, the White Fang are still causing problems. My, my path is to stop the White Fang. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ruby was just like, well, we're going to go to Haven. Sure. I don't, why was she going to Haven? Do you remember? Well, it was to defend. Why is the, Ruby going to heaven? Because there was yeah. an impending attack, right? They don't know that. Well, well it's they like do. Like it's, it's, they do, don't they? Ruby and John and all them know there's an attack going to Haven. Well, not they don't know what specific one is, but they're going there. They're to, going there to defend it because they think there's that another it's attack. It's gonna be there's gonna be another attack on another school. Yeah, yeah that's why they were. I think that was like left and went there. I think yeah. that was like the like the first episode or something like that. Okay. I think I, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just uh, putting that into the character's motivation. But I think that's what they said. I mean, we learned about an, a, an attack from Winter the last episode, but I don't mm -hmm. remember hearing about that beforehand. Yeah, I think that they're like they have a general thought that this is going to happen again. They have to stop it, and the next place to go is Haven. And there's two other schools. I agree. I, I don't know why. That's what I think I'm supposed to think. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another thing too, like, I love the show, I mean, I, I loved Monty's stuff. I, I love the fights, this one, this especially, I liked this fight with the monster and its different powers and stuff. Mm -hmm. The one thing I, I'm having trouble grasping, or maybe I'm not supposed to understand, is like, I don't really know who Salem is, yeah. and why mm -hmm. I should be so scared of that guy hanging out with Lionheart, where like, well, Crow kind of handled Tyrion, I don't think, I don't think they, those four guys are like super, super powerful guys that I have to fight off now. Like, are they any more powerful than Emerald and Mercury? I thought, like, whenever we first saw them, like, oh, so what, what's going to be special about these guys? Are they kind of like Cinder? But I don't, like, are they like placeholders when they find the other maidens and then they have more people to fight with that? I, I'm just confused. I'm just confused. I, confused. I, don't I know. think they are quite powerful because, yeah. I mean, just Tyrion took on the entire Ranger team and True. Crow. I mean, he basically took Crow out. I just don't like, I, I have no, I, I don't, unless I missed it, I don't know what motivates them. Like, even with like whenever he was scared of Cinder, it's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's like, well, why? Why are you sorry? And what is the ramification? You seem pretty pissed. But I don't know why he's pissed, you know? I feel like if I knew that a little more, I, I could be more invested in the, what that character is doing at that moment. Like, he was very upset that he disappointed Salem, right? Yeah, I thought, I thought she was going to kill him. But I mean, we, we haven't really got any information about her. So am, am I just telegraphing that I think that she's super, super evil and will kill somebody if disappointed her, but then she didn't? And I'm like, well, I don't know what to think, you know? Yeah. She just seems evil, and I know they're after power with the maidens and stuff. Yeah. I mean, we still don't really know what is the main story behind the, the council that they keep calling it. Ironwood and Crow and all of them. Like, yeah. There still seems like more that they haven't said. You yeah. Know? Like, and we don't know what's going with Ospin. Well, there's the council. Doesn't each kingdom have a council? Because that's what they were talking about in Atlas too, like the council and the Iron Man had kind of gotten power over. It I thought they had like a council that had to do with like all the heads of the yeah the, the schools and stuff. I mean, they could have a smaller council, I guess, yeah. for just a city or. I, I, I think the kingdoms are led by a council or something like that. I'm rather than having I think Atlas is rather than you know? a king because it's more of like a democracy kind of thing. These are probably all stuff that would have been explained if you watched World Remnants. Yeah. We should probably do this. We should probably do this. The only reason we haven't is because we haven't gotten to Rooster Teeth's website to do them. I, I'm just, I want to know what they meant by the last eye is blinded or whatever when uh, mm. Tyrion showed back up though. Was it last or was it left? They said last, last. eye. Last? The last okay. eye. Yeah, that's what she said. The so maybe the, the, the last one that knows the truth. Well, didn't she say that after he talked about how I had hurt and poisoned Crow? Yeah. You know? yeah. So Crow is the last eye. Maybe it has something to do with Ospin because they seem to have some kind of special relationship. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, he didn't die. 
yeah. he was dead, but he wasn't. So well, they assumed that he was going to die because he was poisoned. Um, and then Cinder's main force and motivation seems to be more of a revenge state. Yeah. Yeah. Because like she was having trouble controlling it, fighting the Grim, and had to like really dig down. But whenever she saw Ruby there, she was just like releasing giant flame. Well, it, earlier know? in the volume, wasn't it kind of implied that like when they brought it up, she was very, very scared, and then she was able to kind of confront that fear, right? Yeah. That's, that's, I'm again. thinking. I think in like her and her revenge and stuff towards Ruby is what's going to be her motivation mm -hmm. for like the next season. Yeah. Because like before, like she was doing slashes. Yeah. She wasn't really like she did a full on flamethrower yeah. there at the end, you know. Yeah. And she didn't seem to be like. Ugh. See, I, 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 I'm gonna enjoy that because like there's a history between those characters. Like I care about that story and that dynamic, and I feel like I've, I, I don't have that with someone like Tyrion. I'm like, well, he looks cool and he, he's interesting and he acts really you know, crazy and stuff, and that's interesting to watch, but I enjoy whenever I can, like, I know why this character's fighting. Now, not to say that I would root for him, yeah. but, like, it's always more compelling when I, when I care about why a character's fighting versus just yeah. seeing him fight. Like stakes. Yeah, exactly. I love steak. <sighs> I'm interested in Winter showing back up. Me too. We didn't have her at all this season, and if yeah. Weiss is after her, I'd like to see them actually working together again. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. What's your favorite thing from this season? Slapping Calvin. That'll 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 come later. Aaron. Oh damn. Um so past of the season? Favorite thing that's happened this season. My favorite thing slapping was slapping Eric. Yeah, that was good too. <laughs> My favorite thing was the reveal that Crow's semblance is he makes the people around him unlucky. I like that. That's kinda of funny. I still don't believe the Crow thing. I'm I'm gonna wait the next volume and see what you yeah. like if that ends up being not true. But someone, I, I, maybe it was a commenter, some, someone was like, you, you know, remember whenever Crow was first introduced, the bartender dropped a glass right beside him and said, like, huh? I remember us being like, that was weird. Mm, that makes that's, sense. That's what it was. Little things introduced in yeah. before. And how he was always winning at the video games with the girls, and they're like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, they just, he just makes people unlucky. They, they yeah. see it that really well, I like that. That's good. I like when they do that, and it's too. not just like, well, this season we thought of it. Yeah. It was like, well, we planned this like last season. Yeah, you plant know, a seed, and then, yeah, by the time you see that, it's a full flower. Like, oh, shit, I saw well, that. I, I, I was thinking, wasn't there something during Winter's fight where like she did, had some kind of mess up or trip she, up or something She like, like yeah, there was. I, I, I was thinking exactly there was something was. that happened during that, too, yeah. and he, he was fighting her. I like that kind of stuff. Um, I don't love the crow, but I'll accept it if it, in fact, is true, because I had to to accept it because it got forced I in my face still by a hand. just don't know if it's true. I feel like with what they give us, it seems like it's true. We, okay, the only, we haven't physically seen Crow yes. into a crow, right? You know, what we physically saw was this horse with a body attached to it, all one beam. That was, that's We it. did. Calvin, you know? would you like the- Line wave fold? Fold? <laughs> See, the thing about it is, they were two separate beings, but they were just melded together. You said they were. They two. were together. You said it was a guy riding a thing. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was just they one. They were creature. separate bodies because it they was killed one the creature. horse, and the rider thing was still alive. But I, I think the the point of the bet true. was is this two separate things yes. and one is riding on another, and that wasn't the case. They are at the boat at at the at the least symbiotic. Yeah. yeah. Thus like, one like being. conjoined twins. Yeah. <laughs> well, at the, at the least, which well, is you, still one one. Thing. I guess you can't ride your twin, <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that works. Depends where you're conjoined. True. Could be attached out of the back. Do we even have yeah. the blindfold? Yeah. Yeah. What? Huh? Do we even have the blindfold here? No. I don't know. It's not back there anymore. You could always put on that thing there. What? Do you want to be slapped with the Ninja Turtle mask? Yeah. See? No. Do you want me to get a shirt? No. Or do you want to look I... at Aaron's eyes as he gets slapped? Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As the judge slash bitch of this slap bet, let us start. Calvin, you look at Aaron. I was say, does he not want to turn? <laughs> He's, I was like, look over there, Calvin. I wasn't gonna and turn. He, he, didn't, he didn't turn to look. No, I could see in the camera what you were pointing at. Like right, right there. Yep, I can see it. What am I pointing at? Pointing at that back shelf. There's nothing on there that I want to put on my face. You fool. Look at Eric. <laughs> He's trying to block his shoulder. No, I'm not. Look at him. I dropped my. Look at him. Just You're gonna have my fucking neck if you do that. Oh! <laughs> that was low. That was, it was low. right on his beard and his jaw. Just, ah. <laughs> Even through my beard, that fucking stung. <laughs> Thus ends the slap bet. Oh, something else I liked was yeah. that. They had Jean's weapons against the wall yeah. with Pura stuff right on it, and then he said his dad's like dagger yep. there too. Yeah, cool. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. That was really that was really cool. 
Because it's like everybody's lost something. The way he killed that thing was so fucking badass. Ren is a bad. He's the only guy that can wear that much pink and be that badass. That's cool. I feel like Blake, Blake and Yang's outfits are very similar now. They, they both are. have like those two little yeah. hanging things. They are. Yeah. Which is all right. You don't like it? I don't know. Yang's costume before was nice too. What do you mean? Hmm? He what liked mean? the short skirt. Oh. And the really oh, so you're just a like, fucking pervert. Really? Huh? No. You, you can't let a girl just wear something badass and be hey, badass. I wasn't trying to look Now I want to see more tits. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see more tits, make sure you guys subscribe to Blind Wave. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we are caught up to everybody. Except there's war remnants, but we'll do those at some point here. At some point. So just watch out for that. But to watch out for it, you gotta subscribe. subscribe. And you gotta hit that little bell down there so you get notifications when we release new videos. Damn it!